say, what, 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 what? People say, what are you doing in Vegas at this time of year? We thought it would be cool to be here for the reopening of the casinos and that. Little did we know there was protests going on. Crazy, just, pff. oh well. Hi everybody. Welcome to another edition of RV Tips and Trips. Today, I am coming to you from Las Vegas, Nevada. Yep, it is hot. I mean, it is hot. It's 108 degrees uh, here right now. It is hot. We do have 50 amp hookup, so the air conditioners are working pretty good. It's 84 in the trailer, so that's that's real good. So that's about as good as you can really expect uh, from an RV AC. So it's com it's comfortable. So we left California finally. We've been in California for a long time. We were at Wilderness Lakes, and I will do a review on Wilderness Lakes. And we uh, came back to Vegas. Uh, we figured, well, I mean, why, why, you asked the question, why would we go back to Vegas this time of year, I mean in June? Well, um, first of all, this is unusually hot. It's not usually uh, too bad uh, the first part of June. It's usually like in the 90s, so. Um, and I figured it would be an awesome thing to uh, catch Las Vegas uh, right at the reopening from the pandemic. You know, I figured, how cool is that? So we, uh, we, we got here uh, May 29, which was this past Friday. And we uh, got ourselves situated and had dinner. And then we figured, hey, let's go take a cruise down Las Vegas Boulevard. We'll get some video of uh, Las Vegas being pretty much empty because uh, I don't know when we'll ever see something like that again. Huh. Well, <laughs> it was uh, definitely interesting. We, uh, we started at the north end of town, the very far north, uh, and then we figured we'd drive the whole Las Vegas Boulevard strip all the way down through to the south end. And we'll shoot video all along. Uh, so first thing we notice, we're driving down. And what's that? Uh, we're driving down Las Vegas Boulevard from the north end. And there was a lot of traffic. I was thinking, wow, I'm, I was really surprised. This was about... 10 o'clock at night, we were doing the drive down. Um, here, here's the thing. We didn't pay much attention to the news. So I uh, didn't know that there were protests going on. We, we, you know, Friday was the travel day. We got set up and we figured we'd do a little sightseeing in Vegas, you know. One thing about being retired, you are clueless as to what the hell is going on in the world sometimes. Huh. Why, 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 you know? That's the way everybody would say, why are you in Vegas? Well, that's, that's why. So just like I said, we didn't pay any attention. We were totally clueless as to what was going on uh, out there in the world. So, uh, like I said, we're driving down Las Vegas Boulevard and uh, went past the stratosphere and all that. And the phase, phase two of their opening uh, of uh, Vegas had already begun. Restaurants were opening up. You could eat on the patios and stuff. So I figured, wow, cool. Well, anyway, uh, as we drove south on, uh, on the strip, we got... Uh, close to the uh, uh, building called the Fashion Show. So it's kind of an interesting building. 
there was a lot of traffic and we saw a lot of flashing lights. And it turns out there was police blocked off uh, the boulevard and they had people turning back around uh, and sending them back north. So we figured, okay, must be an accident or something. So we will, uh, we drove down a couple of blocks and got off the boulevard altogether. And we took one of the side streets uh, southward and then uh, picked it back up. Uh, let's see, uh, Flamingo. So we picked up Flamingo and we were heading back towards the strip. Well, uh, we noticed there was a lot of traffic on Flamingo too and I was like, ah, this is really, really crazy. Everything is pretty much closed. Why, why is it this busy? And then we noticed uh, there's a lot of police. Uh, there were cop cars blocking off uh, entrance into gas stations and stuff. And, and then noticed two buses, police buses. Uh, on the other side of the road and there was gosh like a hundred cops uh, along there and I had never seen so many cops uh, at once uh, ever in my life have I seen this many cops I never thought that uh, Vegas had this many people or uh, this many police officers but yeah uh, saw a uh, van pull out from one of the side streets uh, it was marked SWAT and I'm going, wow, and these guys are in riot gear. As I said, Kathy, there must be a riot going on here, uh, something. <clears throat> so we got back to Las Vegas Boulevard, and we, you couldn't turn onto it. <clears throat> Excuse me. You couldn't turn back onto Las Vegas Boulevard because uh, 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 the police were all blocking it off and flashing lights everywhere. So it turns out, yeah, there were protests going on. Um, so some minor minor looting uh, here and uh, wow I guess I didn't realize that this stuff was going on all across the country so we uh, we headed back to uh, our RV park and uh, so that that night was a bust and then uh, the next day we saw in the news all the riots going on in, in cities all across the country and I was going wow uh, we went grocery shopping, uh, what was it, Saturday, Sunday, on Sunday, uh, to a Walmart. There's a Walmart close by here on Boulder Highway, uh, by uh, Sam's, Sam's Town, right across the street from Sam's Town. And so we uh, uh, went to that Walmart there to get some groceries. We were in the store shopping and then noticed the store is, there's less and less people uh, in the store. I didn't think anything of it. We check out, and then they're not allowing any more people back into uh, the supermarket or back into the Walmart. So they're announcing stores closed, stores closed, and not letting people uh, into uh, the Walmart. So I guess so. We went into uh, and we shopped at Walmart. And as we come out, we see the parking lot's emptying out here, and they're yelling, we're closed. Oh, why are they closing? Uh, there could be a possible riot. Wow. This, yeah. this far off the path. I'm surprised. It's crazy. It's crazy. Safe, man. Thank you. I guess the police came by and told them that uh, there's a potential of the riots spilling over uh, out here. So uh, they wanted them to close the store down just to be safe. So that's what they did. And then, uh, so it's been kind of crazy. Uh, 
The casinos are supposed to reopen on uh, June 4 uh, at 12.01 a.m., but I think there may be a delay in that. We'll see. Today is June 3rd. Um, what I want to do is tomorrow, I'm not going to go down at midnight. I'm going to go, go into the casinos during the day and uh, see, see what's going on. Hopefully there's no protests going on anymore. I think once they open things up and there's a, a million people down uh, Las Vegas Boulevard, maybe the protests will stop, who knows. But, uh, but that was the plan, to be here for the reopening. And we thought that would be a pretty cool uh, experience. And so, who knows? I might even try a live broadcast from downtown uh, tomorrow on June 4th, we'll see. I'll, I'll give it a try. So we haven't been back to the Strip uh, since Friday night. Uh, I did not want to take the chance of getting caught up in, a, uh, in the middle of a riot. So best bet was to stay clear. So I don't know what's going on today. I'll have to check it out. But we're going to be here for a few weeks. And then uh, I don't know exactly what we're going to do because with the, all the civil unrest going on and then things with the pandemic, um, what's going to be open, what's going to close, do we, are we going to get stuck in between uh, RV parks and, and stuff, you know, I don't want to get locked out, um, especially if they see a rise in, in, the, in the infection rate with the pandemic, who knows, it's, it's just uh, totally crazy. Uh, so we're, we're playing this by ear, one day at a time. Uh, the original plan was to go northward and see, like you know, Yosemite Park, and that would have been on. But that's uh, all. Those plans are now changed. So um, eventually, when we get out of here, we will we will head up into Colorado and. To, uh, maybe camp up in one of the uh, national forests away from people. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Well, that's that's today's update. Nothing much going on here. Uh, the uh, the Thousand Trails Las Vegas Resort. That's where we're back at. Their pool is open, so we're we're making use of that, which is uh, good. The park is half empty. Um, a rig just pulled in alongside us. This spot was empty. Um, they're here for a couple of days and then they're going to be gone again. So, but. Well, I'll let you know how it goes. Uh, I'll uh, either do a live broadcast tomorrow or, uh, or a short, uh, short recording. One of the two. So, stay safe. Hope everybody is well. Stay well. And I will catch you again tomorrow. All right. Bye now. Happy camping. Thomas says, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share. Until next time, happy camping.